We have Chocolate Creation. Creations, I can't talk tonight. Please hit the subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy. Um, also, welcome to Christmas in July. Crafty Christmas in July brought to you by Sweet Pea, pa Sweet Pea Papers and Lisa's Paper Lace and Bling. Um, this is a third year doing this. Um, if you go to hashtag Crafty Christmas in July 2023, you'll see the whole um, playlist of everyone's creations. Terry of Sweet Pea Papers um, has a drawing this month, and Lisa from Lisa's Paper Lace and Bling is giving away a free yard of lace to everyone that follows her shop and buys over $15 worth of product before tax and shipping. Uh, she also has free shipping on orders over $35. So Sweet Pea Papers, if you Google, if you Google, if you look her up on YouTube, her first video will tell you exactly how to um, enter her prizes, her prizes, her drawings. Um, she has eight great prizes she's given away this month. There are 15 of us doing videos. Each has committed to a minimum of eight videos. I will have everyone's link below this video in the uh, description box. So let's get started. Uh, if you guys remember, I've been doing the flip-flop altered file folder thingamabobber. And I was sitting here and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this to stay closed. And I think I have it. So I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm going to make a little hinge. I don't know if that's what it's called. We'll see. So, um, two identical pieces of paper. Um, I should have done this before. Since the back will show some, because they're not going to be completely glued together, I am going to quickly ink the edges, the back side. Everything else is already inked. I apologize, because I normally have this done before I start recording. Okay, so I'm going to put that down. Then I have, this is just the manila folder that I use throughout my creation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these like this. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a slide. You'll see. It's really neat little mechanism. So you just screw it down like that. Now when you do this, you want your creases next to each other. Just like that. So you want them touching. And then we'll glue the other one on. Now I do suggest you make sure everything is right way up because I have made these before and messed that part up. So now you have, you can use either holly berries or the little girl. Bring my book back. So what you do, you take this just like this. Come on. Oh, there we go. And it closes it. And it's open. That's a really fun closure to do. And you see how easy it is. The hardest part is determining... Um, what you want your picture to be. So I thought also today I've got to have some way to close this to tie it up so it doesn't flip flop open on me. So we're going to do that too but I wanted to show you off camera I put in a the signature in the back. It's using the papers out of December to remember from line dot arrow and then I put in some avocado dyed papers coffee dyed papers, more avocado dyed, another coffee dyed, avocado dyed music paper, 
and then the center signature and it over here it does the same thing of course you guys know that and we will decorate this um, next time but for now I want to do the closure and what I thought I'd do is I have this cute little heart um, eyelet find my pencil Okay, I'm a little over eight and a half, so it'd be four and a quarter. We'll say right there is probably close to the middle. So I'm going to punch a hole. Uh, I want to go in about there, I suppose. Eyeball it. I'll put my eyelet. Maybe. There we go. Change. I never know which one of these things I should use on which eyelet. Um, the directions aren't very good on that part of this. So we're going to use that one. And I think I'm going to change that to that. You have an eyelet. It's a little rough on the back, but that's okay because that back is actually going to get covered. So I'm going to take this piece of um, ribbon, kind of looks like flowers, and I'm going to get it to go through there. Now it's approximately half. And I'm going to cut it. There's a reason I'm going to cut it because I want one to lay down. Because I don't want too much bulk, so I want them to lay down like that. I'm going to bring them back a little bit. I'm going to take my glue. And glue that down. And then glue this side down. Okay, why that is gluing... I'm going to do a little collage right there. Oh, it's drying, I should say. I have a piece of cheesecloth that is coffee dyed. And I'm going to put right there. And I'm going to go over here. All my extra goodies. Well, I guess they're not extra yet because I'm not done decorating this journal. I need something big enough to cover that. I could do just a could do a couple circles. Throw in a ticket. Hmm. Nope. I think I'm going to stick with two circles. I can find. Oh, there we go. There's a Merry Christmas. I'll do three circles. Oh, I like that. So we'll glue those down. I think I'm going to put this one first, though. Of course, I want my cheesecloth showing. I'll put that one first. It could even stick out a little bit. I'll we'll put this one right you here. And then Merry Christmas will be right at the bottom. Oh, where is it? There we go. So, yeah. 
I really like that. I think that's a cute little um, collage with the circles. Now all the glue is hidden, is covered. So what this does now is, so this is the back. Okay. And it ties shut. So next time, um, my next video on this project, I will decorate some more. I might decorate the outside. I'm going to surely decorate uh, the journal itself. And then um, after that, we'll have the my final video for this project will be a flip through of the entire flip flop altered file folder thingamabobber. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, have a great evening. Bye for now.